Hello everybody, this is Dan Grady and welcome to The Vector Sector. Um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over a little known command in Illustrator um, that can be found in the object flyout menu from object path. Um, you see it right here, it's grayed out right now because I have nothing selected, but it's called Divide Objects Below. Now most people have never used or even heard of this command in Illustrator. I mean, it's actually a very old feature that's been here a long time in many of the old versions of Illustrator. Um, and it sticks around because it's quite useful, but like I said, I, I'd never seen anyone using, using it, or um, a lot of people don't even know of its existence. So I thought I'd create a quick tutorial video to show what this does, because it's kind of cryptic by its description. Um, and so I'm going to show you a literal example so you can see exactly what this feature does. Now, I think the divide objects below uh, description is kind of confusing because basically what I like to compare this command to is um, a cookie cutter because that's exactly how it works. It works just like a cookie cutter would cut out shapes out of dough. Um, so I'm going to use that little analogy um, in this tutorial. So I have this zombie that I created the other day looking really awesome and zombie-ish with his brains popping out. And what I want to do is I want to create a hole in his head. Maybe he, he came across um, somebody that shot him with a shotgun or a pistol and it blasted a literal hole straight through his head. Um, now when I say hole, I don't mean something that just looks like a hole. I mean I want to create an actual hole that when this guy is, let's say he um, is animated, that when he's walking past objects, you could actually see um, those things passing through that hole because there's an actual hole cut out. Um, so to create this hole, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the forehead here and create an ellipse. And I would suppose that a hole in the head wouldn't be a perfect circle. So I'm going to go up to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Roughen. Okay, bringing up the rough and dialog box. I really love this effect. I use it all the time. Um, it's one of my favorite effects in Illustrator because it takes those perfect shapes that Illustrator makes and it will roughen them up. So it'll make them look imperfect, which comes in handy all the time for so many things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click preview so I could see what's going on here. I'm going to put down the detail just a little bit. There we go. I kind of like that. So kind of a jaggy hole now. And hit OK. All right, so I need to expand this object because right now, even though it looks roughened up, it's still a circle, um, as you can see here through this outline. Um, Illustrator still recognizes it as a circle. And so I need to make it so the path is to the outside of that new roughened shape I made. And you do that by going up to Object, Expand, Appearance. Now you can see the path follows that roughened shape. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to use this object here, this rough and shape, to create that hole in the head. Um, now I could do this using the Pathfinder functions um, and also the Shape Builder, which is in some of the newer editions of Illustrator. Um, the reason why I like using this, though, is because it's much faster, it's more efficient. Uh, it will cut through literally all layers that are below it. Um, so in one swoop, I could just cut through tons of stuff, which if I was doing a Pathfinder function or using the Shape Builder, it might take a little while. It might be a multiple step process. Um, and so I'll show you how this works. Like I said, just like a cookie cutter, I'm going to place it over multiple shapes here. Make sure it's on top, so it's the top layer. And I'm going to go up to Object, Path, Divide Objects Below, right there. Okay, now if you look closely, you will notice that my fill disappeared. And I don't know if this shows well because it's because uh, it, it's red, but I could still see my shape here. Um, and so basically when you use a cookie cutter, um, you could press through the object, but it's still going to leave that dough in the center there. And so what we want to do is remove that dough. Okay, now you can see it cut through multiple layers and it actually goes through the background. I'll create a quick shape here, and make it red, and send it to the back so you can see that there is an actual hole in his head. 
Pretty cool command, huh? You can use it in so many different ways. Um, I always use it and find weird things. I just It just comes in handy sometimes. You just want to cut through a lot of shapes using a cookie cutter shape. Um, I don't really like how this is looking because it doesn't look like an actual hole, even though it is a hole, it doesn't match the illustration. So I'm actually going to back up here. And this isn't a necessary part of the tutorial, but I'm going to back up just so I can make it look better. So I'm going to take that original object, copy it, okay, and so I'm going to do that again, divide objects below, okay, remove the bits here, I'm going to paste in that original object, drag it out, offset it a bit, and make a copy, select both, go down to the pathfinder, and use minus front. Now I have a perfect cutout shape of what I want. And um, I'll keep it red because it kind of looks like blood or something. Okay. And I will give it a black outline because everything else on this illustration has a nice black outline. Okay. There we go. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I think this should have a black outline too. So I'm going to paste that shape again remove the fill and give that a black outline. There we go. Now I have a convincing hole. Uh, it would look a little better if I shaded it in here and everything, but now he has a bullet wound that's going straight through his head. And the great thing about this is I can animate it. And here's an example of, let's say, blue sky passing in the background. And that will show right through the hole in his head. So that's just one example um, of how the divide objects below command can be used in Illustrator. But like I said, it can be used in so many ways. Um, and I'm sure many of you have never seen or heard of this command. So go ahead and have fun uh, seeing what you can do using this command in Adobe Illustrator.